No, no, no. It's paid out. Run it again. Oh my god! <laughs> we are finally here for Better Call Saul. We're into the end of the Breaking Bad universe. Mm -hmm. um, we're in the last part. Um, if you don't know, we've already done El Camino and Breaking Bad. If you're new to the channel, go back and look at those. There's a full playlist of all the Breaking Bad videos we've done. Except like three because they were on my old channel and they're gone. So, but uh, ep season one of episode four all the way to El Camino are there. No, episode five. So four and all that back then, I don't have any of those episodes still because they're gone. If you want to go check that out there, there's like 60 videos at that point. Yeah, I didn't realize how many videos we've actually done on it. And it was, it was the, the playlist went up to 60. Mm. So that's all there. We're starting with the Better Call Saul journey. If you're new here, um, I've already seen both these shows and the movie. He has not. This is his first time watching this. And yeah, Better Call Saul. This is, um, I really enjoy this show. This show is really good. And it's on the same par as Breaking Bad. And it's crazy for this show especially because you don't really see often where this, these where writers have like a long running series. And it's all great. Mm -hmm. Like years after years like what they've been they did this for like over 10 years and every season is great mm -hmm. i'm just like because I, I i kind of put this all in one thing but you never really see that with another thing so like that's a really good thing to have on here and i'm curious to see what they end up doing too after since the breaking bad universe is over i'm curious to see what that team's gonna do i know next. vince gilligan has another project coming out does he yeah it's supposed to be like more of a horror thing i'm i'm really i would love to see what this what this team could do with other properties and stuff like that because mm. it's obvious they they're they're they have a very strong team yeah and so that works really well together um some people say this is better than breaking bad i Personally, I prefer Breaking Bad a little bit more, but this is so a great show. I think they're just two completely different shows. Like yeah. Breaking Bad was like it's hard to describe, but they're very two different shows. And I heard that this one is way more of like a character focus yes, one, yes. which I'll probably enjoy it more. It, just because I like more like character work. And that's the other thing too. If people, some people enjoy the show, like a certain show better uh, than each other. I understand both arguments for who likes what better. Like, I can't argue with that. It's because these are both, like, it's whatever kind of show you prefer because they're two completely different things. Mm -hmm. This is definitely a slow burn show. And I think it's interesting for you to watch this now that the show is done. Because when I watched this, um, season five had just came out. And the show wasn't over yet. And so it took me a long time to get into the show. Like, I think I got through season one. I got through a little bit of season two. I fell off for a while. And then I hopped back on a little bit later after starting hearing all the crazy stuff going on. Mm -hmm. And then I kept going and I'm like, oh, this is really crazy. <laughs> but I didn't know where it was going. Then I watched season six live and I'm like, holy shit, this is awesome. And then I rewatched the show afterwards, rewatched it all together with it and just all that in mind. It's a great experience. It's it, it, it's one of those things where it's like you don't know where this show's going. When you're watching the first two seasons, you're like, you don't really understand where this show's going. And I think that's what takes a while for somebody to get into mm -hmm. with this. Because I've heard a lot of people complain about this show that like it's too slow and stuff like that. But I think it's... I don't, I don't think like... I think people confuse bad pacing with slow pacing. Yeah. It's like those two are mutually exclusive. Like slow pacing is good. Like Dune, mm. Dune has slow pacing. Right. But I love it. And it's like paced well in that slow burn format. And like this is crazy too for a spin off character as well. And for it to have like yeah. such a good show that's going to have such a good show is, is crazy because um, I heard the story about how they came up with the show. It was a joke at first yeah. because when he first came on set and he did his first ever performance in Saul Goodman, everyone started clapping and said, where's his show? <laughs> and and then I guess Vince Gilligan later on was like, hey, do you want a show? Like, I think we have an idea of how yeah. this could go. It makes the Break It Bad a very different experience when you watch it. But this first episode's called Uno. Um, and, and I have to pee. Got it. Cinnamon rolls. I think this is a very cool stylistic choice to uh, whenever we get past this intro. Omaha. Mm. Those look good. Yeah. I heard they're really, like, this area is really well known for their cinnamon uh, cinnamon buns. Uh, yo. You remember what he said at the Granite State? When he's like, My odds are I'll probably be managing a Cinnabon. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So this is flash forward before. This is post Breaking Bad. Okay. This is after after he left after Grand State. So is this how they use black and white? Yep. Everything black and white is post? Yep. So okay. black and white is everything post Breaking Bad. Anything that's in color is all during, before. 
Okay. Easy. So I thought this was a really cool stylistic choice to do it all black and white. <laughs> You're strong, never had it so good. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Lemon juice? That's a crazy drink combination. Yeah. I wonder how Vacuum Man is able to get a hold of all this stuff. Like, to get him in these new lives and things like that. Oh, yeah. Because they never really full explain it, but I'm mm. always curious how he's able to get the places and stuff like that, lock it down. Epic. Turtle. Bro, don't turn that off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to hear about the weather. I want to hear about turtles. <laughs> He's still got the, the balding haircut, too. <laughs> God, that's such a scary way to live. Yeah. That you have to, like, hide ducks for, like, the rest of your life. Don't let false allegations bully you into an unfair fight. I'm Saul Goodman. And I will do the fighting for you. When legal forces have you cornered, better call Saul. Oh, yeah. I never noticed done. that in this part. The, it's in color. Yeah, the the lens uh, reflection. Yeah. I didn't realize how they got it in, like, color and stuff like that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're telling me the intro isn't that really terrible CGI scan of him? Which one? The one where it's like... Well, well, oh, with well, his face? Well, yeah. No. <laughs> I thought that was real. No, that's the intro. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> that was the face. I thought that was real. In that dark room? Yeah. Yeah. The well, well, but I That's well, 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 well. That's so funny. He thought that was the intro. I thought it was real, bro. <laughs> that goes hard. Yeah. Stay hard. Stay fucking hard. You know, if the teacher doesn't show up in 15 minutes, we're allowed to leave. <laughs> Is that what the rules he's playing? Yeah. <laughs> he's a goblin in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, to be 19 again. You remember 19? Juices are flowing. The red corpuscles are corpuscular. <laughs> what? <laughs> Summer's gonna last. They did a dumb thing. Nobody got hurt. This is like me explaining to my mom why I failed my test. These three young men, near honors students, all... It's gonna be crazy going from Daredevil to this show. Dude, we're about to lo lo learn so much about law. Yeah. We should become lawyers now. <laughs> it's, it's like the thing that happened with people making meth after watching Breaking Bad. We become lawyers after <laughs> watching Better Call Saul. And Daredevil. <laughs> Guys, we're practically the experts here. Yeah. I love how there's the hum of the fluorescent lights. You're not allowed to leave! Get back in the room! <laughs> what happens if the jury has to go to the bathroom? Like one of them. The security guard pulls out a gun. No. Yeah, yeah, wait what? Ms. Watson's fourth period biology class. This one's for you. God! Where'd all the blood go? He's dead. They suck it all out, dumbass. What? Are they cutting a guy alive? Or a, a dead? They're cutting a dead body open and vlogging it like <laughs> yeah, Logan yo, Paul. Yo guys, today. Yo guys, what's up? <laughs> this is so something Logan Paul would do. They recorded this? They're psychopaths. Yeah, now he's so it's sex with the head. Yeah. Hey, it's his car. But not yet. Yep. It's the origin story. Law offices of James McGill, how may I direct your call? Uh, actually, why is he, are you Mr. why is McGill your assistant British? <laughs> Could he meet you and your husband at say a Loyola's cafe on Central? Um, hey your suitcase. Your suitcase. Ah, got it. Oh, the back door is replaced. Nice. Three dollars. Uh, I'm validated. Walter. See the stickers. I'm in better call Saul, Walter. <laughs> I'm validated for the entire day, okay? Five stickers, six stickers. I don't know from stickers because I was in that court back there saving people's lives, so. Ah. Now, gee, that's swell. Pay the three dollars or you go back inside and you get an additional sticker. Fine. You win. I need more stickers. Don't have enough stickers. Or pay the three dollars. Employee of the month over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guilty people to represent me. 
Who needs that aggravation, right? Five minutes ago? <laughs> I think I'd look guilty if I hired a lawyer. Getting arrested makes people look guilty, even the innocent ones. And innocent people get arrested every day. Lawyers are like health insurance. You hope you never need it, but man, oh man, not having it? No. <laughs> yeah, I think about that all the time. No insurance? It's like having no lawyer. <laughs> <clears throat> letter of engagement if you sign it um i can get started on that defense strategy of ours this very afternoon craig i think maybe we should sleep on it uh, absolutely there's no rush he's jimmy yeah jimmy McGill. hasn't turned to the saul goodman phone number on it yeah <laughs> women why does this look like the same diner that hank confronted skylar at? i think it is that's crazy lore. The note should say, Dear Betsy and Craig, best wishes from your stickler for justice, James McGill. No, 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 it's paid out. Run it again. Oh my god! <laughs> my god, what did you do to my brother? Who's making a turn? He came out of nowhere. You freaking hit him, man. You ran him over. Huh? Oh, 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 that's broke oh, his leg. That's my, Why are you driving that's around and not looking? Kills them both. What can I do to make it right? $500. 500 bucks? Ow, what the hell, man? Listen, Starlight Express, I'm gonna give you a 9.6 for technique, 0.0 .0 for choice of victim. I'm a lawyer. Does a steaming pile of crap scream payday to you, huh? The only way that entire car is worth 500 bucks is if there's a $300 hooker sitting in it. You, what? Trying to scam a lot of money. That's so funny. Go, go, go. Chapko, Mrs. Nguyen. Why don't you look? You work for people who have sex with chopped off hair, or you work for these people? Just lucky, I guess. <laughs> nice office. You have zero messages. Well groomed as always. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. No, okay. <laughs> Keith, Karen, yes. Yes. You have meddled with the primal forces of nature, Mr. Hamlin, and I won't have it. Okay. It's money for Chuck. Isn't that what you wanted? A measly 26 grand. One third of this place belongs to him. It's time to do right by him and cash him out. It's his wish to withdraw from the firm. And I, for one, believe he's gonna lick this thing. His office is just as he left it. His secretary's still on payroll. If Chuck can call this an extended sabbatical, then so can we. And you will atone! <laughs> oh. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck your trash can. Well, we know how we got bent before. Uh-huh. Mine now. Mine. He just left it like that. Son of a bitch. Ground yourself? Yes, I grounded myself. You alright? You look peaked. Peaked. That's a word. What does that mean? I don't know. Am I maybe anxious? I guess. You gotta cash out. You know I'm going to beat this. You know I'm going to get better. In order to pay out my share, suppose my partners are forced to liquidate the firm. My clients are out in the cold. My cases are scattered to the winds. 126 people lose their jobs. What happens to your cronies in the mailroom? Chuck, I'm going under. You are broke. You're going to be out on the street with all the electromagnetism in the world raining down on you. Hamlet's making you a chump. I'm going to get better. I'm going to go back to work, and I'm picking up where I left off. Howard brought this. He's concerned. Well, you have to admit it could be confusing. That's my name. I was born with it. I... Still. So I'm not supposed to use my name. What's he gonna do? Sue me. It's simply a matter of professional courtesy. Uses his Xbox gamer tag as his word. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather build your own identity? Why ride on someone else's coattail? Yeah, uh, you can get closer than that, you bitch. <laughs> what? Us. We got business. I tell you about a young guy. I called him Slippin' Jimmy. Winters in Cicero are murder cold that'll freeze the snot right in your nose. Most folks in Cicero were scared of winter, but not Jimmy. Could feel that first cold wind come sweeping off Lake Michigan. He knew it was coming. It was slip and fall season. As soon as it was cold enough, 
he'd find a nice, smooth patch of ice. And he'd walk out on the ice, and boom! He would biff it so hard, people would come running from five blocks away. One good fall, he'd clear six, eight grand. Eight grand. Holy shit. I look at you guys, I see potential. Clearly, you know how to take a header. Nice boat. Yeah, discreet. Like a stripper pulling a mosque. You forget the... Okay. <laughs> Every weekday between 225 and 250, she comes through here on her way to pick up her kids at Kit Carson Elementary. She hangs her right. You come shooting out of there. You do what you did to me. You get in her face. You scare the bejesus out of her. I'm gonna play it cool. Give you back some of the razzmatazz. You know me? No. Damn straight. Go with God. <laughs> Go with God. That was a crazy plan. That's so funny. Two minute warning. Two minute warning. Got it. It's crazy how he calculated how she gets yeah. there. Oh my god! I wonder how fucked up his side has to be for yeah. constantly doing that. Look at me! Are you okay, buddy? Say something! <laughs> he's like, he's just like, yeah, I'm good. Making a sandwich? Where's your sense of responsibility? <laughs> hit and run! So now they really got him. She took off on us. She what? She hit and run. That's what I'm saying. She bailed and wailed. Following her how? We got our ways, yo. <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> When she gets where she's going, wherever that is, just don't do anything. Wait for me. Hit and run is a felony. Because we fell in the honey pot. This is more money. So what do we need him for? Hey, uh, hey, uh, yo, hold up. Hey, oh, yeah. it's the wrong what person. The with you? you hit and run. We call La Policia. La Policia gonna be. La Policia. Dinero. Dinero. See righteous dinero. They got the wrong car. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Talk okay. Hey, ho. Is that money? Is that money? He's got the blue stripes. Open up, officer of the court! Okay. Good afternoon, this... Uh... <laughs> hello. That escalated quickly. Fucked with the wrong person. We got Tuco's mom. Or grandma or something. got Tuco's mom. That was somebody when I first watched this, I was like, oh wow, I didn't expect you to be in this part. That's crazy. <laughs> what do you think of Uno, the first episode? Good. There's a lot of questions, especially about his brother, that I imagine you have. Uh, yeah, I don't understand his house. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll get to that, because that's, right. that's a whole thing. Because um, <laughs> I, I took a look, I was like, I was like, wonder what you think about this whole, this whole, his whole house situation, because it does... It, this is looking kind of crazy. At the beginning, we got a bit of Saw's um, afterwards of Breaking Bad, where he's at now. Mm -hmm. He's in a Cinnabon managing mm -hmm. in Omaha. So, yeah, that's crazy. He had to be, he has to be on the lookout constantly just to make sure nobody recognizes him. Which, God, that has to, I don't know what's better, just like owning up to it or just like living the rest of your life like that. Mm -hmm. Especially for how much he has to watch his back for how big that Walter White case is. Yeah. And especially even after, like after Walter White died and whatever, and Jesse escaped, I can only imagine. Because um, from what I gathered, that's after El Camino. Ooh. Like the uh, black and white, mm -hmm. that's after El Camino, after Breaking Bad. Okay. Walter's already dead. Jesse's already escaped. Don't fucking say spoilers. I swear to God. It's not a spoiler. Walter's <laughs> dead? No! <laughs> then we got into a little bit of Jimmy is working now. He's working a little bit. He's working in that closet in the back of the nail salon, which I think that's the same nail salon that he was trying to get Jesse to buy in season three. Yeah. Because he was trying to give him to launder his money. It so looks, he It looks similar. I think There's it's... There's a lot of set pieces that are similar. Like the diner. Yep. You know, that looks really similar I, I i i couldn't remember if that was the diner if it was that diner or it was the one that was uh, that mike always went to with lydia or whatever we can see mike mm -hmm. mike is he's uh, just a guy yep he's just a guy who just who just does the um little uh tickets yeah he does the tickets his stickers the, yeah he has one of his first cases with the, the dude the people who fucked the skull <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that was crazy. Makes it even worse they had it on video. Uh, yeah, and he's like, he sits down, like, the, <laughs> pulls up the head, he's like, ah, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's crazy when he goes up to them and, like, he's trying to, you realize what he's defending now, when he's like, yeah. oh, 319 again, when we were back when we were kids, I don't think anyway. <laughs> yeah, that was a good uh, setup. It's like, ah, oh, they just broke in, it's fine, and then just 
The other guy didn't say anything, just played the clip. We're gonna introduce some new characters here with um, Howard, the whole H&M, um, Howard, Hamlin, McGill, I think that's what it is. Yeah. So that's where his brother used to work, and you know, the, and now he's providing stuff for his brother. And we got into introduced to the oh fuck, who's the who's the people they were trying to frame? Kettleman's. Trent, Kettleman's. Kettleman's. Yeah. Yeah. So in the Kettleman's, you tell she wears the pants in the family. Yeah. <laughs> she bosses him around yeah. everywhere. She grabbed the little match. Like he's box. just talking normally, and she's yeah. just like, nope. Nope, give me that. I, I speak for you. Mine. You introduce the skateboarders. Yeah. It's really funny how they just pop up and um, so good we can tell the bullshit face already. <laughs> yeah, the one person you want to do it to is a lawyer. Mm -hmm. I want to get to, I want to go con a lawyer. Yeah, fucking right. Yeah. If you guys love the video, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.